Well, welcome everyone to Race Face TV. Man, we're glad that you guys are with us tonight. We've got an exciting show lined up. We've got young eight-year-old Camden Hibbett from Westerville, Ohio, that's going to be joining us. So, Camden, how are you doing tonight? Good. Really doing... good. So, man, I really like your backdrop you got there. You got some definitely some serious hardware beside you. So, what what are those two trophies right to the side of you? Those have got to be big wins because those are big trophies. Um, those trophies are my two 2017 championship trophies from my club racing uh, point series. Uh, one in one I won in Junior Honda, and one I won in Junior Handle. Yeah, and now that's because you're a member of the Buckeye Quarter Midget Racing Association. That's correct, right? Yeah. And a little bit of research that we've been doing about you, I think you've got over, you know, 39 different feature wins, uh, including those about, wins with the Buckeye about, and then ones outside of that as well. Yeah, 39 feature wins, counting Buckeye and um, all of the other tracks I've been to. That's a pretty good winning percentage. Do you know what your winning percentage is? No, not really. Not really? Well, I'll tell you what, it's got to be pretty good. So we know that you were the 2016 track champ champion, as you said, in Junior Honda. In 2017, you not only won the Junior Honda, but also the Junior Animal and Junior Honda for Mid-Ohio Series. And then in 2017, 2018, you won the Buckeye Indoor Winter Nationals Junior Honda Championship as well. Yeah. Well, I think with all those wins from Honda, Honda should have sent your mom and dad like a new car or something. Well, I think car, the Honda car is what it, what, it was my first car. And uh, that's, been, I, that's been my favorite car ever since I got it. Yeah, but what I was talking about is like sending your mom and dad a new car, like a new van or a new Honda oh. Civic or Prelude, because <laughs> you win enough races. I mean, that'd be doing something for you. So, at what age did you actually start racing? Um, I started racing at uh, five and a half. At five and a half years old. So, what what actually got you involved in racing, and what what made you want to be a race car driver? Um, at a few years old, I started, uh, I did, we would, were, we were at a different house, but we were watching a NASCAR race, and I started watching that, and ever since then, I've been looking, and just, I've been wanting to race a race car, and I think that's kind of how I, I got interested and started in racing. You got interested in racing. I, I did the same thing. You know what? Um, I was a lot younger than you were when I went to my first race. I was actually six months old, and that was a long, long, long time ago. So one of the things that I want you to think about is what would you classify as your most memorable race that you've been in so far? Um, my most memorable race um, as of right now was January 13th of uh, this Buckeye Indoor, Indoor Winter National event. Um, it was my first indoor race in a feature win in a competitive class at the indoor track. Um, and it just seems like we've been trying so hard to get a win there in a competitive class and to finally do that and do it and, and just do it, just do it. It felt really... It, that it, makes it you was, feel good, doesn't it? Nothing it, like winning. It gave me a lot more confidence for the rest of the year. Right. So I know that you got, you know, a lot of friends and everything that probably think, you know, being a race car driver is really, really cool. But I also know that with especially the schedule that you guys have to keep in this quarter midget racing, um, you've had to make a lot of sacrifices, both you and your parents. So talk to us a little bit about some of those sacrifices that you've made and then at the very end, I want to ask you that question. Was it, is it all worth it? Um, yeah, I've been, I've had to miss some of the time with my uh, neighborhood friends and people uh, that I play with in the neighborhood for due to racing schedules and going out of town for a race. And I've missed some baseball games and, um, and I wasn't able to play at all last fall because of our racing. 
Um, and I've also missed some of my friends' birthday parties and just stuff like that. Yeah. So what do your friends think about you being a race car driver? Um, most of them think it's pretty cool. I think um, most of my friends at school, I, uh, I think they think it's pretty cool. Uh, my friends in the neighborhood think it's cool. I think they, all my friends think it's cool that I'm a race car driver. Yeah. So I know when I was, when I was young, maybe your age, I'd let people like, you know, Hey, I'll ride your bike. You ride my bike. But do you ever just like tell any of your buddies like, Oh, go ahead and drive my race car. Uh, no, because I can't do it in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, okay. You can't do it in the neighborhood. <laughs> so let's talk about who's your biggest supporter. I, I probably already know what the answer to this is, but who would you classify as your biggest supporters that's always behind you, win or lose? Um, my mom, my dad, my sister, um, everybody who's made this possible for me. Uh, one of my grandpas for always being there at the track. Uh, the rest of my family who is either at the track or watching it through Facebook, them, all them for supporting uh, my racing career, uh, it's really meant a lot to me. And I think that I think that's pretty cool that I'm only I'm only eight years, nine years old, and I have that many people who follow me and all that. Well, that is pretty cool because I was on your Facebook page. I was on your website today. I was looking around, and I did see a lot of pictures with you and people who support you, and that's, that's very, very cool. So let me ask you this question. Who is your hero in racing? Which one of the race car drivers do you look up to? Um, I think Jimmy Johnson is my favorite driver. Um, so, But then Jeff Gordon is my role model because he went from – a quarter midget race car driver to a four-time NASCAR champion in a 20-something year career. So he's my role model because he's he was a quarter midget driver, and then he won four championships. In That's right. So Jimmy's a seven-time champion, though. So if you had to re if you had to look out there right now and you had to give Jimmy some advice, because Jimmy's in a little bit of a slump right now, what would you tell Jimmy? Uh. I don't know. Uh, just stay positive. Relax a little oh, just, bit. Oh, there you go. Relax Com a little bit. Stay, stay positive. Keep confident. Those are all great things. So I will tell you a little story about Jimmy. Jimmy, when Jimmy, you know, he ran in the what is now the Nationwide Series, used to be the Bush Series. You know, he never won a race there. And then all of a sudden, actually, I'll take that back. I think he did one race. And then he comes out, and what does he do? He wins seven championships. So it's always about staying positive. It's always staying, you know, about keeping focus. And uh, so that's some really good advice. You never know, Jimmy might be watching tonight. So I got, I got to ask you this. What are your plans for 2018? What's the 2018 year look like for you uh, moving forward? Um, so our plans for the 2018 season is we're going to try to run, we're going to run all the local club races at, Buc at Buckeye, at the Buckeye track. And then we'll run almost all of the USAC Midwest Thunder Series regional series event. Um, and we're and this year we're gonna try to get to a lot of new tracks for uh, we're gonna try to get to a lot of new tracks because we've only been at I don't know maybe 10, 11 tracks so in my career. So we're gonna try to get some to some new tracks in Tennessee and Georgia places like that very cool so where do you see yourself in five years so let's see if you're, you're you just turned nine is that correct yeah so you're going to be 14 years old where do you see yourself where do you want what do you want to be racing when you turn 14 um i might be still racing quarter midgets but if i'm not racing quarter midgets by the age 14 then Maybe a legend car or something similar to a legend car. Good choice. Legend cars are good, man. Legend cars are good. Just stay on the smaller track. So long term, if you had a crystal ball, I ask everybody I interview this same question. If you had a crystal ball set right in front of you, what is your dream? Where do you want to end up at? If I, if I was to call you back, you know, 20 years from now, would I be calling you an IndyCar racer or a NASCAR racer or 
You may want to go drag racing. I don't know. Where do you see yourself? Um, I see myself racing in the nice nat one of the nat three NASCAR series. Um, and I think the series that I want to uh, race in is the Monster Energy Cup series. Um, and I just kind of I want to be like Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon and those drivers. Well, those are great, great role models. So. Uh, do you want to talk about any of your sponsors before we wrap up the show? Um, all my sponsors, I'd like to thank uh, NC Chassis, Baker Racing Engines, um, Advanced Racing Suspensions, uh, the whole Hibbit Motorsports Nation for all of their support over the last two, three years, and uh, anybody else who supports me through the website and the Facebook page. All right. Well, Cameron, I really want to thank you so much for being on our show tonight. Um, I want everybody to go and check out his Facebook page. You can see his Facebook page listed right here on the screen and also go visit his website. Um, I think we're going to be hearing a lot from this young racer over the next few years. So Camden, best of luck in 2018. Make sure you go out there and be safe. And we'll look forward to having you back on one of our shows real soon. Yeah, I just, I really, I would like to say maybe about two more things. Uh, one, I'd like to thank you, get, you for giving me the opportunity to be on your uh, program. And I, like you said, I'd also like to invite anyone out there watching to check out the website, evenmotorsports.com or our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash evenmotorsports. Well, there you got it, man. What a great spokesperson. So again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to uh, Race Face TV tonight. There you have it from one of the top young up and coming quarter midget drivers in the country. So everybody go out there, have a great race weekend. And again, make sure to go out and support local racing in your communities. And we'll see you back here next week. On February 10th, 2018, fellow Westerville police officers Tony Morelli and Eric Jorick lost their lives in the line of duty. Camden's dad Justin was a fellow police officer. On February 24th, Camden wrapped up his Buckeye Indoor Junior Honda Championship and a third overall in Junior Animal by doubling up with feature wins in both classes. Camden's goal was to win these races in honor of the fallen officers and friends of his dad, and he did just that. Instead of flying the traditional checkered flag during his victory lap, Camden flew the thin blue line, American flag as a tribute to Westervale police officers, Tony and Eric.